Christopher. Welcome back to another episode of the Crude Brew Crew. Hi. All right. <laughs> um, today we're going to drink a uh, winter warmer that we did in August. It was it was our um, style of the month in August was winter warmer. So Jared stepped up, came to us with a, with a recipe, and uh, we made a 10-gallon batch of it. And uh, I've, I'm not going to lie, I've, I've sampled it already, and it's... <laughs> it's good. <laughs> so, yes. uh, Jared, which, uh, what was this one called? Um, it was an Avery clone. It's been so long, I can't remember. Was it, I think it was the Old Jubilation. That's what it was. Old, Ju Old Jubilee, I think, or something like that. Yeah, and that's a, and that's a really popular winter warmer by Avery. And uh, I've actually never had that one, but if it tastes anything like what I've had on this one so far, it's... it's so it's a copy of another beer. Yeah, it's a clone. Okay, it's a clone. And if I recall, it was uh, pretty dead on with yeah. uh Yeah, it was like 7.7% 7 .7 alcohol, I think. And uh, let me just top everyone off. And uh, yeah, so it's a watch out. Yeah, basically, you know, when I think of a winter warmer, I think of like a brown ale that has a little more hops and more alcohol. But this one doesn't have any spices in it. Like some winter warmers have spices in them. And uh, part of it was... Uh, hard to find hops it yeah was the bullion hops right and apparently nobody carries them because they have they go bad nobody they right. can't store them oh. and i had to go to a rebel brewer right to find them it was in it's an online place it was uh in the south uh, was it it was like tennessee i think was name like rebel brewer, <laughs> yeah, the name yeah, like rebel yeah, brewer. exactly um and they were the only people who carried it and they shipped it out and shipping it was and it came worked out worked out fine and uh just in case anyone hasn't noticed yet um, we're missing two people David. But we uh, got an extra special guest. <laughs> the Iron Man. <laughs> hey, we love the beer right here. Yeah. Tony Stark. <laughs> Too bad there's no place to actually drink the beer. You can. Do you see these holes right here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to see you do that. No. That did and we have Michelle. Of course, we have our special guest, Michelle. Thank you. And Jared, the head brewer. Always honored to be on these podcasts. Cheers. So cheers. 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 Salud. Salud. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite beers I've tasted here. This is a good beer. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh who made this? Oh, yeah, this is mine. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's, um, it's I've had good. a couple of winter warmers, and they usually, a lot of times, I don't like the, the over the top spiciness on them. Or the, this one's nice and mellow, it's really roasted. It's pretty strong. Yeah, you can taste the alcohol. It's like it, it was 7.7, .7 and it, it seems, it seems like it. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, I mean, I'm not a fan of the real high alcoholic beers because it kind of overpowers sometimes. But um, like, yeah. I think this one uh, might be a bit much for me. But definitely, the flavor is nice and it's mild. Right. It's, it's like a, it, it tastes like an ale, like a brown ale. Yeah. Um, it's a low bitter, low yeah. bitter, um, nice malty, brownish type ale with a little more roastiness. No bitterness, like uh, no stout kind of bitterness. Now, did you deviate from recipe at all, or just strictly follow mm. the recipe? Right on the button. Okay. Actually, we doubled it. Right, we made a 10-gallon batch. Yeah, we did 10 gallons. Mm -hmm. And we did have some issues uh, being that it was one of the first times we used our 10-gallon batch setup, so we did have some issues, and we I think we were brewing until about 12.30 that night. Oh, I remember yeah. that night. <laughs> Start, we started at 5, I think at about 12.30. I, I just called it quits and cleaned up the next day because we had some issues with pumps not well, pumping. Some people were insisting that um, we sparge very slowly. Right, yeah, there was and an issue so with that. So we probably added two hours of time with, but aid, with that. But it, maybe it, it was worked. for the better. It worked because it, it, this is a great beer. And, uh, you know, maybe we got to think about entering this one in a homebrew yeah. competition. There you go. Cheers. Is the recipe up Cheers. online? Cheers. Definitely. You. Good job, Jared. Thank you. Is the recipe up great. online on Crew Brew or no? Um, I don't know. It will be. It will be. Okay. I, I, I think it might be, but if it isn't, I'm going to put it up. Now... I brought two special beers all the way from Buellton. We went to the Firestone Walker, or actually my wife and I went to the Firestone Walker tasting room. And uh, I picked up a couple growlers. One is their uh, Pilsner, and that's just called the uh, Firestone Walker Pilsner. And the other one is the uh, Firestone Walker Oktoberfest. Oak. Oktoberfest. And they're both loggers. And if anyone knows Firestone Walker, they don't usually do loggers. So. Are you doing anything for Oktoberfest this year? Well, we already did something for yeah. Oktoberfest. Well, I mean, are you going to any Oktoberfest stuff? Mm. It's almost over. 
it's hard to pour that time. We're walking to the Alpine Village October Fest with Marplex. <laughs> that's right, Jared's pretty close. Oh, okay. Nice. Yep. You don't have to worry about driving back. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Stumbling, that's a different story. But. <laughs> Anyway, I had a taster of this in the tasting room, and it was good. <laughs> Michelle. Made it that time. <laughs> Sucker. I think I stabbed myself. I'm glad <laughs> some old traditions haven't died, even though I haven't been here in a while. All right. We're conflicts, but... Nice to see Javier back. It we'll is. Pass Wait, this one on. I remember you. I'm, yeah. Iron, I'm Iron Man, see? Aren't you, like, the original member? <laughs> you used to work at All American Burger. I'm just Sometimes. <laughs> anyway... Nice and clear, Pilsner. Very beautiful. Cheers. Nice. Cheers to Firestone Walker because they make great beer. Firestone. Mm. Smells good. It's nicely hopped. Wow, it has a good like aroma. Yeah, it smells. Oh, this is I smooth. mean, the hops are nice and a little bit citrus, but not too bitter. You that is a superb Pilsner in my book. It is great. Oh, yeah. It's it's a, it's just too bad they don't make it year round. I wish yeah, they, they can did. do Pilsners. Yeah, apparently. this is great. And I've had a couple Firestone, I don't know, remember which ones they were, but, you know, were kind of <coughs> not the top of my book. But this was damn yeah, good. This is, and this is, I mean, they usually, they're big on pale ales. They have their pale. They have their Union Jack, which is, I love both of them. They have their Double Barrel Ale. They have their Velvet Merlin or Merkin. And then, uh, and then everything else is seasonals and special releases like these two. And uh, this is a, this is great. This is, this is a non-beer drinker's beer. Seriously, anybody could drink this. Yeah. People who don't, you don't really think anyone anyway, could drink it. I just burped. That was it. Okay, that was him. <laughs> That's what I'm glad he had a glass in his hand. Because <laughs> I was going to get an out. Air, so glad you're back. <laughs> you're welcome. The, the I think what you're smelling, it's all the hops, and I couldn't even guess what the hops are because they don't. Uh, you know, I should have looked this up. I don't know if they're German hops or not. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice be. to find out because you I'd know. like to remake this. Yeah. I don't know if they did it in barrels like they usually do. I have, I know nothing. But you have barrels now. Uh, yeah, I got a fix them i think there's some growth in there <laughs> the last beer i made in it wasn't good okay but um, but mr connection here you gotta you know get yeah. on the horn yeah find out hey firestone your pilsner is awesome let's clone it i mean how do you what do you put in it <laughs> actually <laughs> you know, hops are in there now that you're mentioning um i was telling him by uh, the end of the month i'll be taking a road trip and one of the stops is going to hey, be steve the the Take, firestone here, brew. Pass this one all right out. well i'll That'll be part of my Put homework assignment. Put that one in assignment. there and try it, because it's great. Them. We can edit this, but industrial sabotage, if you ever heard of it. <laughs> not, we're not an industry, so we're not sabotaging it. <laughs> Wait, it's not sabotage. It's uh, yeah. We're, we're borrowing. Espionage. Espionage. Flattery. If you close is. something, it's flattery. We are. Well, on a homebrewer's side, it's flattery. It is. We don't sell it. We just exactly. make it. We just we're make it and then don't buy this. We're flattering by trying to attempt to create the beautiful beer they just created. <laughs> and then, well, we could always, you know, you, this is the Firestone clone. So it's, Man, that was good. By the way, Jared has a nice shirt that he won in a clown dunking contest. If yes, you can tell. thank you. So he's wearing it to show it off proudly. <laughs> oh, that and a clown dunking contest. You know where you throw the balls at the clown on the oh, yeah. top of the water thing? Thanks. Your crowning achievement, Jared. Yep, <laughs> clowning. Don't let him do that to Well, it's all right, I'll get him. Yeah, he will. My, Matt's not here, so someone's got to. Matt is where? Working. Yeah, where's Matt? Work. Work. He called. Shocker. He called and said that his beer machine didn't work. His beer machine? He wasn't real specific. That's, gut, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a different machine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Rush Hambo, come on. <laughs> you live. Uh, this is the Oktoberfest. Did I pour it? Oh, this one's yours. Cheers to Oktoberfest. Now, what makes something an Oktoberfest brew? Well, it's kind of like an amber lager, and they usually brew them only for Oktoberfest celebrations. It's a, it's, it's a lager, so it's kind of similar to the Pilsner in that, in that it's real nice and clear, crisp. Stronger. I like it. It is crisp. It is stronger. That is good. It's definitely got some more caramel notes in there, like an, like an amber ale. What's the ABV? I don't even know. Durka Durka? Yeah, no. this is low. <laughs> it's probably six. Okay. I'm guessing. I would say it was lower than that. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I can't really tell. Because it's not like there's some... Light-bodied. Uh, there's some Oktoberfest that are usually higher, and it's it, it's this not as actually, easy to drink. Yeah, this is... This, this is, is pretty a, easy to drink. 
it's a it's it's light for a yeah for you know i'm not pulse. getting a lot of aroma off it at all yeah i know i was like the pilsner you can definitely taste the like oh, yeah. smell the aroma <laughs> there's this one is you maybe taste i it, smell but... like a biscuity kind of a bready more i don't smell hops at all no i don't get a biscuit <laughs> would you like a biscuit? Would you like a biscuit? We probably get you one. Biscuits are available. <laughs> Biscuits are. See our hostess on the way out. <laughs> well, that's it's, it's light for an October. Yeah, it's very light and very very mild. Light in mild. color, light in, in viscosity. It's light, yeah, light body. Not half bad. Very drinkable. Not half bad at all. Actually, per I actually really like the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. That's, I like that too. That one's that's good. actually my favorite. Yeah, that's that's a great Oktoberfest. <laughs> Definitely harder than this. This is. Oh yeah, yeah. This I think I could drink that whole, that whole uh, brawler. I'm sure you could. <laughs> Not you think. I'm sure. How about it? <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't want to deprive anyone else. Right. <laughs> good looking out, buddy. Because <laughs> I there's care. not that's enough beers at this household. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, thanks to Firestone Walker for yeah, selling me. Good so. stuff. No, I'm just kidding. No, but I'm just, I was just, I was really happy when, when I went up there. I, I went up there for the Oktoberfest, but I didn't expect the Pilsner to be up there, so I was happy to get both of them. How and long are uh, they going to have it out for? It's seasonal, so I, I mean, I think I it's... I might be able to get them then. Yeah, That'll you'll drive up there. Oh, well, I'm going to. <laughs> call it, I called ahead weeks. of time and, okay. and asked if they had the Oktoberfest, and so I knew they had that. Except then they scared me because when I got up there and asked for it, the, I had a new lady, and she said, no, I don't think we have that. And I was like, well, I just called. And then someone else found it. Don't so. get mad at the girls that work in beer areas, okay? When they give me information I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm happy about that. Jared's brown uh, winter warmer was incredible. Yeah. Seriously, I think we're going to enter that in a competition. We're going to have to use the bottle really filler I don't know and fill really a bottle it. from the keg. Why don't you like it? I don't know. High alco maybe the high alcohol. That could be Not it. Because you really like brown ales, right? I, I love brown ales. And it's it's a, like, a, like a super brown ale. And I like mine kind of... You Mellow. know, biscuit Mellow. Englishy. Yeah, and this one's English, a little English bit muffiny. <laughs> <laughs> a little this jam is a biscuit. Butter. That's an English Jammy. muffin. <laughs> <laughs> buttery. I'm waiting for the garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. Fruit notes, maybe. I don't know. I don't Ooh. know if we uh, we've talked. I mean, we talked about it uh, amongst ourselves and whatnot. But just for the viewers and something, if you guys are either local, um, one of the the things we talked about, and now that he brought up putting it into a contest, is what. We were noticing a lot in the, the local county fairs, they have a lot of uh, home brewers and they have stands and they offer mm -hmm. tastings and whatnot. So one of our goals for next year's county fairs, which gives us ample amount of time to get prepared and ready, is to find and get a booth and probably have some of this stuff on display. So those of you that uh, yeah. frequent these uh, county fairs, look for our booth there. What those are that? yours. <laughs> Always good times here. You That's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, next year we have, I have so many plans going on in my head right now. I'm, I'm hoping we can do them all. But uh, that is one of them, a booth at the uh, L.A. County Fair. I'd still like to do the bus trip to San Diego as a fundraiser. I'd still like to, um, the American Homebrewers Association has a schedule of competitions, and we're kind of building our homebrewing schedule based on when they, you know, when they have those competitions. For instance, they do a stout in uh, March competition for stout so in january the club will be brewing a stout and we'll be entering that as our as our entry so follow the competition <laughs> yeah. exactly. and then we'll all have entries it'll be kind of club entries and, and, and exactly and the way it works is is each club is only allowed to, to enter one so it'll be a group right. effort so yeah. and there's i think four or five of them out there that so would be cool four or five of the uh so join the club ones. exactly and i think in may or maybe it's april we're gonna do i think what's called the new brewers competition yeah and what i want is anybody who has never <laughs> brewed before and is interested in getting going is going to bring in their equipment minus a couple of things like i think we can provide probably burners or something like that gas and then like if you bought they basically <coughs> they're going to bring in their homebrew kit and they're going to brew their beer and then <laughs> how's and, you and then two months later there's going to be a competition and we're going to taste them all and decide who did the best job and we're really it's going to be great for us because we're all going to sit back yeah. and watch. it's it's going to be more and watch the rookies, and, watch the rookies. Yeah. And, and they can ask us questions and we'll we'll give them help but they're going to do all the hands-on and it'll it'll be more like a workshop and getting our right home brew club going and people actually knowing instead of just like saying well what are you doing now you'll get hands-on 
Well, that's know. that's what I've been telling a lot. I've got four or five different friends of mine that are <clears> well, close friends that are not related anywhere, and you know, to the to the club at all, that have been brewing on their own, and I right. keep telling them you need to come to a meeting because it's a bunch of people who can give you tips and tricks, and you'll learn. Yeah, there's uh, the, you'll learn more in one in one club meeting mm -hmm. than you probably will in months of yeah. book reading and et cetera, right. because you'll be there. We're doing it. We're digging into it. You've got store, you know, the, the local uh, supply store guys here and they, they're brewing every week. You know, yeah. they've got 40 batches under their belt. Everybody here has got multiple, you know, batches under their belt. So yeah. when you come and you're new, it's a great place to come to learn and find information and, and get yeah, the right. bugs worked out. There's and definitely a lot of knowledge that I mean is spread amongst the people that are part of our club and one of the things that we worked on and now have the blessing on it hominus hominus <laughs> is uh, we have the facility hominus. to support mm -hmm. it so you know we won't be as crowded and it you know it's gonna be a good learning experience and, and I expect you too. <laughs> and I expect Javier to be in that new brewers competition that's right because he bought a kit like a year ago. Yeah, he's to break it in. <laughs> and he just keeps drinking our beer. And doesn't he's make waiting for just the right one. That's right. right. <laughs> I'm going to shine. <laughs> no, it's definitely one of those things I learned a lot. Like, I, I was always a beer enthusiast, but now I've actually learned what a brown ale is versus, you know, a DBA and IPA and all the different stuff. So when you go somewhere, you know what you're looking for. That's yeah, right. guys find it impressive, girls. <laughs> when you actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's true. Especially I can use you... some more friends here, girls. Just saying. Just yeah, because saying. I was checking out our statistics, and there's only like one girl out there watching. <laughs> and YouTube says there's zero, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely encourage uh, females to come and join. It's you know, we have a lot of fun, and we get to drink our product, so it's good stuff. That's true. And, and again, well, yeah. if single girls. Now, the other thing I was going to say was... The man um, who's married is talking to yeah, no, single hey, no, I mean, no, but I mean, you know, there's some people, some guys here, you know, I'm just trying to put it out. But what I was going to get at was um, e -harmony, e for brewing. the guys. <laughs> Brew Harmony. Brew Harmony. Brew Harmony. Brew Harmony.com. That's pretty good. It's like a dating site for brew home brewers. I imagine yeah. that one. Um, now we know who our coordinator is for that. <laughs> yep. I was going to say um, for, the, for, the, for the newbies that are, you know, are interested in thinking about getting involved um there's also you know becoming a club member gives you access to equipment yeah. and mm -hmm. good equipment and so you can so you could know like when if you're ready to purchase yours you could know what you want and what's going to fit your right needs. at least you can see how like you might read about equipment or you might see it on a podcast or whatever but but when you go to home homebrew club meeting you get your hands on it and you, you can decide whether you like it or whether you like or maybe you want to try a different setup or if you join the club, instead of spending, I don't know how much for a kit, you might spend one club membership and you've got better equipment for yeah. a year. It's right. kind of like a lease. I mean, you can use it, um, you know, under certain guidelines, but you know, you yeah. get good equipment and you get to, and you get it and you get help doing it yeah. and you can, you know, it, it might make a better entry into it and it might be less expensive. In, one in one stop shop. Cause you don't have all this gear now that's sitting in your garage for 10 exactly. years cause you've never used it cause no one's doing it with you. Or you, know. you live in an apartment. Like, Javier. <laughs> hey, yeah. nobody's doing it with me. I'm just saying. Well, hey. Nobody did it with me. <laughs> That's a little too much, little too much information. So well, we're st still trying to decide that. But, I'm, well, you'll definitely get recognition. But we're, uh, I'm still, you know, we're still planning a lot of stuff for next year. And a I don't know. Star. It might be, maybe it's going to be a medal or maybe it's going to be a T-shirt or, yeah, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we'll maybe we'll take a, a full size blow up and put you in South Bay Brewing Supply Company as as the winner. You know, I don't know. We're still thinking about it. Oh, that could be creepy. Um, but actually, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a, a members <laughs> meeting on the podcast? probably next month, and we're gonna decide a lot of yeah. next year's activities. Bragging rights, because people can't take bragging rights nice definitely. Yeah. yeah, bragging rights for sure. Actually, I'm, I'm impressed you haven't tried to you know touch me in cop of field since you've Jenny. <laughs> Okay, so let's cut let's, let's cut Michelle off right there. <laughs> I guess it was more uh, ABV in that one than she thought. <laughs> Here, I have another. I why it was strong. Yeah, let's, let's pour her another one. <laughs> anyway. I love how you got the most, but I've drank it more than you. That's all right. Okay. Well, he refilled. You <laughs> drank it. Yeah, college educated. <laughs> For what? 
Yeah. I've yet to figure that out. <laughs> well, I'm hoping next month we might do it. We might host this meeting somewhere else. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I love your I gotta, and Like I said, I, well, there is a there's, place There's benefits us. for everything. Yeah. There is a place that supports us on that on a bigger scale. Um, Javier's help? That's not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Excuse. Unlimited space, pretty much. You know, that's on camera, so we'll know if that was... If, who, who's really actually lost? winning? Right. Slow motion. Right. We'll get to go back. back and look it up. Yeah. Jared, right. He's pacing no. himself. He needs to start drinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap it up. All right. Great uh, homebrew by Jared. Uh, of course, great great beers by Firestone Walker. Check with us next month because we have an IPA that we were going to do this time, but it just wasn't quite carbonated enough. So we'll be doing that one next month. And uh, as always, keep, keep drinking. drinking. Great, great beer. beer. With these uh, county fairs, look for our booth there. What those is are that? yours. Those are Adrian's underwear. Uh, oh, I don't know, man. They're hey, what are my underwear doing there? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I think he went swimming. That's beautiful. Yeah, without draws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my beer. <laughs> Always good times here. And that's See. from the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, next year we have. I have.